Baboons. Real life cheeky monkeys. Baboons are boisterous, playful characters with personality to spare. Living in large groups or troops of 50 or so individuals, you might be surprised to learn that baboons aren't actually territorial. Instead, they roam around their home range, most often following their stomachs. Although they have frighteningly long canines, they are opportunistic feeders, eating mainly fruit, bark, roots and seeds. But they will eat meat, if they can get hold of it. They'll try their luck with catching birds, rodents and sometimes even young antelope. For all their troublesome reputation, baboons are very devoted parents. But how does baboon parenting work? We're going to explore baboon society and find out the secrets behind the success of this plucky primate. Baboons share 94% of their DNA with us. And like us, they are highly intelligent and sociable animals. They have an impressive repertoire of language and have been recently found to use up to five vowel sounds. This puts baboons up there as one of the most advanced animal linguists known to science. Their tongues also contain the same muscles as human tongues, meaning they can make the precise movements required to form the sounds of language just like us. Baboon troops are made up of related females and their babies, along with a smaller number of mature males. There's a very definite ranking system which is strictly followed. Violent consequences are likely for monkeys who step out of line, if they get caught. Just like we saw with hyenas, the female baboons inherit their rank from their mothers. But the mature males in the group are not usually related and they compete with each other for access to the females, forming their own harem within a troop. The hierarchy in males is constantly reinforced, not only by violent means like fighting, but also through friendlier activities like grooming and monkeying around. Baby baboons are dependent on their mothers for the first few months of their lives. They cling tightly to their fur and often ride on her back, jockey style. They will not venture far away from her until they're about 10 months old. Then they'll start to spend more and more time playing alone or with other youngsters, gradually daring to leave their mother's side. Sometimes adult males do take on the parenting. This might seem selfless, but it can reap rewards for the males too. Males caring for babies are less often threatened by the males. This can be an advantage to the lower ranking, more henpecked males of the troop. But it doesn't protect them altogether, and it can be very dangerous for a baby baboon to get caught in the crossfire. But for babies, especially orphans, the pros outweigh the cons. The male will not only protect his youngster from rival males, but also from predators like lions and hyenas. And young baboons? need every ally they can find. <laughs> 